welcome back to another video for learning since we can't go to school. Um, okay. We are going to be learning all about measurement. We are going to start with the non-standard units of measurement. The non-standard units of measurement are basically objects that were not made for measuring, sorry, but we can still use them for measuring. For example, the, um, the stack cubes that we have in our classroom, we can use those for measuring, although they were not made for measuring. Paper clips, like the ones that I have here, we can also use those to measure different things, but they were not made for measuring. These were made for holding papers together. The counting bears, we can also use those to measure different things, but they were not made for that. And pennies, we can also use pennies to measure, even though they were not made for measuring, okay? So if you guys can see that, the correct way to measure would be putting them right next to each other without any space in between. This here is not correct because it gives us an incorrect measurement. There's too much space in between each of those um, non-standard units, okay? So now that we learned a little bit about non-standard units of measurement, I am going to show you how we are supposed to measure using these paper clips. Okay, so here we have our um, non-standard units of measurement, right? Uh, which are paper clips. Remember we said that these are objects that were not made for measuring. And the object that we are going to measure, boom, is this awesome marker that we have here. Okay, so um, remember that it showed us that the correct way to measure is by placing the objects right right up next to the next unit, okay? So if we have our marker here, we are going to start in the very tip top. See how we started on the very edge, I'm sorry. And we're going to place it right next to it. Hope you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see that, all right? Hopefully this marker does not move. Right there and right there. So this marker is about how many paper clips long? Four, cuatro, right? Very good. Um, this marker is about four paper clips long. Now remember, these are non-standard units of measurement, which means that we can use them to measure, but they were not made for measuring, right? Okay. okay. So now that we have learned about non-standard units and how to measure with non-standard units, we are moving on to measuring with standard units of measurement, okay? Which is what we're going to be doing this week, all right? So this week you will need a ruler. I only have a ruler. I don't have a tape measure and I'm too scared to step on a scale. So we're not gonna do that, okay? <laughs> but. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be using a ruler to measure, all right? Okay, so standard units of measurement. These are objects that were made for measuring different things. Measuring length, measuring weight, also measuring capacity. Today, this week, we are going to be learning how to measure length. How long or how short something is, okay? And we are going to do that by using our handy dandy ruler. All right, so, um, yes, so standard units of measurement are things that were made for measuring like a ruler, a tape measure. Um, a lot of your dads have one of these. They usually put it on their belt or somewhere. I know my dad would carry one all the time. How long or how short something is. And then of course, like I said, that's a scale. So how do we measure with standard units of measurement. So the correct way, if you can see here, is you place it right on the zero and you look at where the object stops. So here the object stopped, the pencil stopped on six. That means that this pencil, the length of this pencil is six inches. Um, and this right here is incorrect. Why? Because they just place the pencil anywhere on the ruler, but the pencil does not, the length of the pencil is not seven. 
the pencil would have to be placed right here on the zero. And I'm going to show you how we measure using our ruler, okay? We're going to focus on both inches and centimeters. That's inches. And usually an inch is about the size of this part of your um, finger. And if you flip the ruler over, then each one of these is a centimeter. So everybody say centimeters. Centimeters. Yes, very good. Centimeters and inches. So with the ruler, you can either measure, measure using inches or you can measure using centimeters. Inches are a bit, a bit larger and centimeters are teeny tiny, kind of like the size of your nail from one side to the next, okay? We are first going to measure using inches with the ruler and then we are going to measure using centimeters. Your units, we have inches, feet, and yards, okay? So the smallest unit would be an inch which would be right here from the zero. Oh gosh, it's so difficult. Right here from the zero to the one. That is one inch. From the one all the way to the two. <laughs> that is another inch. From the two all the way to the three. That is another inch. So from here to here, that's an inch. From here to here is an inch. There is a total of 12 inches in one ruler. Do y'all see that? There's a total of 12 inches in one ruler, but there's also a total of 12 inches in one foot. So that means that this equals 12 inches, but it also equals one foot. So if I have two rulers, I would have 24 inches and how many feet? two feet, right? Because each ruler equals one foot. There's 12 inches in one foot or one ruler, okay? There are 36 inches in one yard. Those are called yardsticks um, and they have three feet and a total of 36 inches. So that means that three of these rulers are the same as one of those huge yardsticks that we have in our classroom. Um, and it's a total of three feet, a total of 36 inches, okay? So that is using the standard units of measurement. And we are going to measure something right now using the standard units. Stay marker. Good marker. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So now we are going to measure using the inches, okay? Because that's what we just talked about. We talked about standard units of measurement. We talked about from zero to one, that is an inch. From one to two, that is another inch. From two to three, that is another inch. From three to four, that is another inch. So this space in between here, that is an inch, okay? The same for here and for here. We are going to measure using the inches, there's a total of 12. Do you guys see? You guys can see it a little better here. There's a total of 12 inches in a ruler, which is the same as one foot, okay? So remember, the way we measure is by placing the end of the object on the zero. And remember, we are measuring to the nearest inch. So here, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and it kind of falls here after the half mark. Do you guys see that? This would be four and a half, and it falls somewhere over here. So what inch would it be closest to? Would it be closest to four, or would it be closest to five? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is weird because you guys can't see me, but that's okay. So if you guys said cinco, or if you guys said five, you are correcto. Yes, very good. Uh, you are correct. The nearest inch would be five, okay? Let's measure something else. Let's measure this marker. No, I'm just kidding. That would be the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little late, guys. Let's measure this pen, all right? 
or marker. Remember, we have to place it on the zero. Now we look at where it ended. Now if we see that this one, it didn't even reach the half mark. Here we know that there's one inch, two inch, three inches, four inches, five inches. This would be five and a half, but it didn't even reach that. So would it be closer to five inches or six inches? Silence. Very good. If you guys said five, it would still be closest to five inches, or we can say that as well. That is how we measure using in any okay. From zero to one, that is a centimeter. From one to two, that is another centimeter. From two to three, from three to four. And we are going to be measuring to the nearest centimeter. That means that we are going to measure to... Um, to the nearest <laughs> centimeter <laughs> to the closest one okay so if an ob if we are measuring an object and the object stops here close to the stops right here the closest centimeter would be four instead of five okay so that is what i wanted to address we are going to be measuring to the closest centimeter um so let's go ahead and do that now we are going to measure these two same objects but this time we are going to measure them measure them using centimeters and we could see the abbreviation for centimeters is cm and the abbreviation for inches is actually im but it has inch here all right so let's go ahead and measure using centimeters let's go ahead and measure this marker first we'll place this one on the side the same concept goes for when we are measuring with the metric um, units we start right on the zero which would be right there and this marker is exactly 12 centimeters long right you see how we start it right on the zero and the object ends on 12. So we are measuring to the nearest centimeter. The nearest centimeter would be 12. Now let's go ahead and try the next. Sorry, I say so much. <laughs> All right, there's our pen. Again, shake it off. And we are going to start right on the zero measuring. This one falls in between two centimeters. It falls in between 13 and 14. If we place it right up next to, right up next to it, we can see that the nearest centimeter would be 14. Do you guys see that? Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Do you guys see that? The nearest centimeter would be 14. Oh my god, my nose are terrible. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was our lesson on um, measurement. Remember that on a ruler, we have two kinds of measuring units. We have inches and we have centimeters, okay? So what you guys are going to do this week is you are going to learn how to measure with the ruler. And if you already knew, well, that's awesome. You'll just get your extra practice in. Hope you guys like it. Um, hope you guys find it useful. Háganle um, caso a su mamá y a su papá. Porque si no, se van a dar con la chancla, eh. Bye. <laughs>